Back up. Back up. Back up. You exed out. I'm the new leader. A1 chose to ignore a leader because demands on him not signing any female artist. Now, he couldn't give up on the talented Keisha Cole, but little did he know that he was putting himself into a ton of trouble. Now, if Keisha hadn't handled the situation the way that she did, the explosion could have been worse because Lyrica was pissed that he left her out in the business with Keisha. Made me cry. Oh, you heard me, boy, you tried it. Keisha's got a different sound and image than what I've been working with. So adding her to the roster? Yeah, I was trying to base it off, like, because yeah. I don't know, like, Yo, fool, like, yeah, you know, his- It's been like this for months, and A1's big head is gonna be deflated today. I like that, that's, uh, you gonna send me that. I'll send it to you, but I, I'll send you the beat, because I know you're gonna- And I'll see you, thank you, just, you for just your time. Call, yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. seeing you. Definitely see you later. So, you and Keisha had a session, huh? I mean, we was, we was vibing. We can just- Around. She's real nice to you now, huh? I mean, she's not, yeah, she... Is we've always been a team. When you started writing songs, like about, mm, four, you didn't just go platinum, and did I not write on it? Yeah, but... Okay, so why would I not want to write... So what the hell? Oh, so this was a sneak session. No. When nobody thought you were talented, thinking that I ever wanted. Everybody knew that I had a boyfriend, and they didn't want to me because of you. I'm done. I'm done with the... Do your session with Keisha. I'm not coming in here. I'm not working with you. Zell Swag was the one who revealed that April and Fizz was officially a couple. Now, the couple wanted to keep things under wraps, but Zell Swag had other plans. Now, soon, Monice would join Fizz and April, and when she heard the news, it made her really mad. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. This is a surprise. Oh, surprise. Are friends no more? Are y'all not friends the no more? The aesthetic is better. We're still friends. I don't want to be the messy one, but this. Because Zell was going to hand over those photos that he took to someone, and it just happened to be, you're a clown. That's whack. Done and over. Good day. We're very honest people, and I'm a private person. As you should be. You feel me, fam? I'm you a... have to get a lot of backlash for people thinking y'all right. was together. And that's right. Yeah, but y'all was bad. I said not yet. Yeah, exactly. You said no. Another no. I'm just happy that y'all living y'all true. Like, right. Y'all got a special right. close to The tries and you being on Instagram with Barney B, I don't even know who you are. Moving forward, I can do it. What's next? We living, fam. Ah, they together. That they letting it out. They're letting now they get married, all of that, kids, all of that, girl. They said they figured they were together. They never I told mean, you. They never told me. April, they were together. you never told me. I just knew that they were best friends. Yeah. So are we skating? Let's skate. Y'all about to go on tour and she was yeah. about it? Fine. What? Lie about it. Just leave the kid out of the bull. You made my son feel like he had to. April overstepped her boundaries. And April decided to question me. Everybody else should be. Bitch about Because the whatever they going through. Uh, okay. We going skating. Hey, boo. Good to see you. I'm not going to keep running. <laughs> if it doesn't pertain to Cam, I don't owe Monique anything. Ten years since I've been with Monique. And every time I get into a new situation, it's a problem for her. You came out to everybody and told everybody that don't mother matter that you're bitch my face and lied and kikied about being best friends when you want to sit in my face and tell me the truth down. But that kind of gets a bitch wrecked in real well, life. Well, don't leave. Wrecked in real life. Don't let them win. And Kimberly was the one who saw the chemistry between Safari and Lyrica, and her source was her observation of them during an Instagram live. Now, she also claimed to have seen their messages, but that's not what would get you. What remained surprising was the way K. Michelle chose to handle the issue, as dramatic as she could make it. Don't judge me. her show in New York. I'm super excited to sit down and talk about joining her. Oh, and Lyrica. Girl, working too much. You working to be like a Rita, okay? You working to be like Anita, okay? Every minute after that. Well, that's management talk, because I don't be an hour late. Your management, not mine. You, girl, I can put on that red wig any minute. That bitch is always inside of me. Wrote some great songs, but nobody give a
brainy. If we being real, she wrote in a group of This broad has lost her mind. Hey, Michelle wants to call me fake and my marriage fake, but if she thinks she's gonna have the last word, <laughs> oh, you got another thing coming. These bitches in La La Land. This what you're doing? This is what you're doing? Now, I remember when Briscoe was caught cheating during the reunion. Yeah, it made for one intense scene. And fortunately for Briscoe, he'd grown so much as a man, which was evident in the way he told the ladies that they all had to talk. But could there be any excuse for him cheating on his lady with Chameleon and Tip? Fresh out of jail, Briscoe was focused on the present and reuniting his family. How does it feel to be out? It feels so good to be home, to see my kids and hug them. It just feels good to be And if you really want it, let me know. If you don't, let me know. By myself, you know I want you back. I thought about it. I want to do this. But I don't think you're going to shut me up. So, you know, moving. Don't Thank get you. too excited, Thank but... You. I'm willing. Tello to the show. Yes. Yes. Felonious money and um, some credit card scams and fraud. I am, I'm Briscoe. I'm put on this big billboard. I have to make it. Always try to. It's real to admit Damn, that. that is, that's, that's super real real at that. So I was, I, I didn't know really what was going on. And for him to do that, it was just, it was disappointing. <laughs> um. <laughs> Cello. Do you see a change in him? Yeah, I guess because he had a little weight on him now. So you have kids as well, so that had to be rough for you. Just those stages and the space they was in, not just abandonment. I abandoned my kids for the mistakes I made in my life. So I just always... Out of your relationship. We working on it. Mm -hmm. We trying to build on it. So should we save it or should we... Yeah, let's save it. The flame with Cello, but it appears some sparks were flying with someone else. <laughs> Like I want to slap the oh, out of here. Right. What the f is that no, about? Not in the mic. What the f is that stupid ass? You look real good. Listen, Claudia. Claudia. Well, Kendall wants to ask some questions. Ken well, wow. Camille here. She oh, says she got some things to say, so I'm about to bring her out there right now. Oh, she's coming down. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's welcome Camille to the stage. Hey, boo, daddy. With Chella. No, I had seen it, and I asked him about it. And, what and he, he was said. just like, you know, I mean, it wasn't her. She's a beautiful lady. You know what I'm saying? She got his kids, and I, res I respect that. Like, I... Revealed something to me back here on the couch, and you was like, I need to get out there because I need to say it, so what's up? <laughs> To, to, to come clean yourself before oh, I go to the cars. Is my car service here? <laughs> that y'all not together. Y'all wasn't together. You left him while he was in jail. Yeah, he that's what he told me. That's what you be. You were dealing, just to be clear, Tip, you were dealing yeah, with Bristol. Yeah. Really, there's someone here that is probably feeling like crap right now. Are you hurt right now to hear all this hurt. stuff? I understand your frustration. I'm responsible and, uh, for on, you to do listen. something. No, shut the up, because I don't give a fuck about you understanding listen, my frustration. Listen. You sound stupid, you need to shut you the gonna up. You like impossible, or is there still hope? Please. Let's I'm end not the even going there with <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, that's my responsibility. Like that. I've been, I'm in, I invest in my time in this right. man, and when he do Final words from you, because this was all about you, and it's a lot about you, so any final <laughs> words in the segment? To me, it's about Shello. She's a great person, a genuine person, and she's a boss. She's always been a boss, that's and right. she more definitely Mad right now. She got a lot of feelings going on right now. Something to say about the situation. Kendra, what you got? All I want to know is, uh, <laughs> Chello, you, you gonna take them back? Now, you can tell that Tiara had ulterior motives when she chose to bring Jasmine along with her to Rashida and Kirk's event. Now, Kirk immediately asked what she came here to do, and she said she came to speak with Rashida. Now, unfortunately, she still accused Kirk of avoiding his child support. Now, it was at that moment that Rashida took over the conversation. 
So me and Jasmine, we're in Houston. You know, I'm praying that this gonna be a party. Jasmine just wants to say sorry on behalf of Kurt's dingling. I know that ain't who I think it is. Here. Why are you here? I, real quick, if we could chop it up. First, I'm confused on why. Like, what's the point? What do you want? Why are you here? You haven't took it upon yourself to do what you were supposed to do. Go sit down. Mm -hmm. You can go sit down. Mm -hmm. Kill that bitch. I really don't have to say to this chick, but since she just keep, we in a room full of my peoples that will ride for me if necessary. I don't even need no. Finally, get to apologize to you formally. I've tried to write you, I've tried to, you know, I didn't want it to go down like this. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't thinking about what I was destroying. I'm not that type of, it is the type of person you are. And I'm gonna keep that 100 with you. That was some real to me to make anything any different. One thing about me though is I'm a real ass on some that I can't with. And that's why I won't talk to you. That's why I hadn't talked that That's not who I am. I well, you don't have to try to tell me what you aren't game to apologize. Is that what you had to say? Shh, shut up so I can hear. I guess, I mean, this is a far-ass place. We're not in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So actually speak louder than words than what? Because when I talk to you, what? The reason why I did that in the first place is because I wanted to be able to speak to you. So then um, that has nothing to do with me. You need to be having whatever conversation you need to have with that man for doing what you did. I'm not even talking about this whole around shit. Mm -hmm. But what and this bull that you was doing, you posted my child on Instagram. Mm -hmm. like, like, I can't respect that on any kind of level. And I want to continue to enjoy my night. See you later. Now, this perhaps ranks as one of the most interesting Creep Squad moments on the show. And it should come as no surprise that it all bordered on Cisco and his unusual actions, which always come back to hurt the creeps. Now, Cisco, on the other hand, felt as though the guys were always on the jump to disrespect him. Now, who do you think is the most messy creep? What you want to dress? Yeah. What My up, man, boy? DJ So. What up, kid? Whoa. That's in the building. Don't go too far. Okay. I guess DJ So locking me out of the radio station was real funny, but let me see how much of a boss you can be when you're in my face. Uh, a obituary line crosser. Rich telling me that you trying to sign my dealings with somebody else that's crossing the line. You think so? Absolutely. Maybe I'm trying to help you, DJ Skit. And maybe I'll quote and I say, yo, you know what, self? I got a situation for her that's beneficial, and you know I'm gonna cut you in on that. Just how you can't even get in the radio station without me, right? Okay, so you, you proud of shit in New York. I, I, listen, brother, I can care less. Well, what's going what's on over this? here? Huh? We're having on? a conversation. Last year, and like, you know, trying to go to raw for management and not really fitting there. I was actually well, excited right whack. Now. I'm you not acting funny. funny. So exactly. you didn't tell me that you were paying for your own video. Go sign to him, right? And y'all go sell your mixtapes on the street. I don't do mixtapes. And don't, and don't, and don't, I told He broke my first record ever on the radio. Cisco. That's another story. Listen, I came to see you and show you some support. And, and I love. agree. About none of y'all right now. You know why? That's, 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 that's none of y'all. You ain't in the no creep squad. I started the creep squad. That's right. And we, you ain't in the creep squad no more. Not Let's touching go. him. You kicking me out of the creep squad. You can't kick me out of a club that I created. Skin Eva. It's me, You asked out. I'm the new leader. I think Cisco got to go. It crossed the line with DJ Self. I'm not gonna keep sitting down with a grown man. I want to tell him, this is family, man. Ain't no problem. What's up with the guns? Thank you for me. Of course. I think I need an intervention or something. So here I am, sitting across from three dudes who at one time, I consider them all on the table right now because it might be the last time you see all four of us together. My flaws, got a lot of going on with me. So rather than, how I feel. Let's talk about that for a second, DJ Self. Let's talk with now, you. You went behind my back and done things with Mariah Lynn. Brother, I'm telling you what I see. You decided to kiss me. You supposed to be my brother. Run around with him and you become my enemy just that like That between him. you and him. Are you kidding me right now? It's me. So this is how we gonna end this. Let's do it. I need an apology from you and I need my Only reason why I did what I had to do to them. But everybody want to blame Cisco. So bring it on. What's up? An apology's not gonna happen, but in regards to the money. Right. 
So I need that's your money. But I need ten, Cisco. Well, I tell you what. Why don't you? It's hot. Benzino and Carly Rae were once an admirable couple despite their constant relationship struggles. Now it got so deep that Benzino decided to get married to Carly Rae. He invited her over for dinner, and as the night progressed, love filled the air, and Benzino brought out a ring. But it wasn't gonna go like you might have expected. I've spent a lot of time thinking about this moment. Tonight's the night I'm gonna ask Carly. Here goes everything. Hey. hey, moved out the house, and we don't talk like we used to. Right now, I'm interested to hear what he has to say for him. I can be jealous. I know that, and. You know, I know, like, nothing I wouldn't do for you, but you know that I definitely, definitely... I have my doubts. You know, if there was any doubts... What are you saying? I mean, if you doubt... Are you ready? I'm not ready. I don't know how she can have doubts in me. I, I did everything I could to show her that I do it. I don't want this, you know what I'm saying, to be any more hard on me as it is. Why would you come and bring is. me a ring? That's Who the brings a ring and then snatches that back? Who does that? You know what? Tell me. me getting with you, Benzino, was a good look for you. Because I put you on. We ain't rocking no more. Carly said she had it done. Debbie visited her friend Gail, and as she walked in, she immediately recognized that Gail had something bothering her. Now, as Debbie pressed on, Gail revealed what had been troubling her, and she needed the help of her friend. But y'all think that Gail was telling the truth given her history of trying to sabotage her sister's relationship? Because I'm a skeptical penguin over here. What to do? You gotta talk about it. What's going on, Mama? I have a big problem. Oh, I can only imagine, my dear. You and her is not meeting right now. Usually, I will be by my sister's side. It seems like there's something. It's me and Marlon. You and Marlon? What do you mean, you and Marlon? What? Are you serious? Yes. Mm -mm, mm -mm. What happened? That way, we could fix it. So he came here. Yeah, that's a lot. And. Okay, I don't like that look. And, yeah. Now, Kay Michelle once again shined in this clip as she rattled Carly Red to the core. At the time, Carly and Jocelyn had a complicated relationship, but Kimberly took Jocelyn with her to Carly Red's event. Now, when Carly performed, both women became harsh with their judgments, and you know how quickly things could go left on Love & Hip Hop. Grammy Award winning artist, the legend, Derry, Beanie Man. But I'm about to do it big. Listen to me, only he you know how to put it, put it down like that. Oh, no. Hi, ladies. How y'all doing? Good, good, good. But, but if I can forgive people, anybody can forgive. All trying to grow as women. Y'all know I be popping off. I'm so off. proud of you. Yeah, y'all know I be popping off. And I'm like, you know what? Oh, you didn't do it yet? So we'll get to watch it? Are you nervous? Girl? Oh, no. Okay. Do good. Good luck. Have fun, baby. They don't get along, but I'm shocked. Justin Ashley behaved herself. Right now, so everybody, put your hands together right now. How about Carly Red. We know what to do with it, do with it. Handle me, baby. Handle me, baby. That's what it is. Money, boss up. He wanted it, let him take it. He raising the boss up. Hit him up. Be nice, not the loose. Yes, you yes. did it. You, you did not do bad at all. Feel yeah. the color hair is great. Oh, I, gee, I did dye my hair. Makes you look younger. That's leave that in the past. You know, it is what it is. I just have to stick the truth. I can't lie about it. I know, but mama, like, I'm not making no dick. No, if no, no, your age, I mean, you know you make a but, if, but what I'm saying is, if you're, you're your age, plan. I can't take you yeah, like, I, away. I thought okay, we, we were do, we do. Okay. I thought we no, were no, no. She's mad because she's old. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Margarita? Yes. I think my little plan to, you know, make us all be sorority sisters and <laughs> where Jocelyn comes from. She just keeps it 100. She came a long way, and she's been working amazing. <laughs> do you like what it? the 
I be praying. I said, boy, I step right here. Roll and get full. This way. <laughs> Let's roll and get full. Walking oh. like two big booty. Erica Dixon presented herself as one of the most loyal and intelligent people on the show. And indeed, she was true to Rashida. Rashida actually thought that she had a lot of friends, but it turned out that the only person she could trust was Erica Dixon. Now, once they went to Kirk's hotel room to find out why his artist was the one picking his phone up. Kirk went ahead and took old Ashy out on the promo tour that my husband is doing the right thing in handling business. Yeah, it should be. Erica said she wanted to talk to me, so I figured I'd drag her along so I could check on the state of my money. Joe Kirk, I was like, listen, we is not about to be drained dry over this. It's been hundreds of thousands. You remember the promo tour situation? The lace guards who came down yes, talking about. Oh. Yes, the performing I look like. You didn't want to go? Girl, please. Or something else. Exactly. And I would think to hope and pray that he wouldn't be a dumbass. He done been in the cabins. Oh, like, no, you didn't. Come on. <laughs> yep, yep. Shots fired. I know you want to see. It all came to the light. I just want you to stop and just really evaluate everything. Do you think I even, it's just the way that Kurt maneuvers around sometimes, it's just not it's cool. It's so suspicious. It's yeah. just crazy. It's like Bambi the same chick that was texting Scrappy. We was engaged was his what was going on with me. So I'm just telling you, be smart about the situation. Like, check this I'm just thinking, guess what he was? I don't have room, time, or none of that for no more nothing. It's called the big D, divorce. Versus women, women they be tripping. Hotel and figure out why his artist is answering his hotel room phone. Boots, just in case I need to stomp a bitch, OK? It's queen. The emotion of Rocky Coaster, or so it seems. You love me, then. Rashida is not playing. She pulled the wife card, threw down Kirk's credit card of your life. Is that it? Damn real. Kirk has done some foul to me over the years, but this right here. Take the guy reached out to call my husband at his hotel room tonight to pop up. And if necessary, we ready to pop off. Serious? Oh, yeah, check under the bed, too. <laughs> really? He's not in here. Turn down. You, you see what's going on here? <sighs> well, oh. You see now? Yeah. For two years now. For she to stay thinking I'm smashing Kurt, but guess what? You know what? Every I don't trust time. no bitch. Every because you act like a thought. OK, OK, she like girls. Little bitch. Wait, first off, please. You, you know what? Please, Hold how y'all doing? Good. I'm confused. I don't know what's going on here. As an employee, and how has she not? She coming at me sideways like she him. That's how she acts. Come anywhere I don't. Else? This is who I've been with for a very long time. Well, that's good to and know. And you've been mistaken. I'm looking for my good to know. Y'all can, can go find Kirk. Yeah. Yeah. What the? Now, Spice thought that introducing Mita to Kendra would do good to the rumors that plagued Mita and the fling that she had with Jock. Now, Kendra wanted to know the truth, whether Mita was still intimate with Jock when he'd already gotten engaged to her. Now, Mita told her the truth and even presented her receipts, too. Kendra, this is Mita. Mita. Nice to meet you. So, Spice invited me here. I'm here to air because this okay. like... Come on. Jocelyn. I'm right here. Yeah, come on. And you know, I've been with him during these times, so the truth gonna come out. I mean, it's a big deal to me if I've been lied to even after my wedding, but, you know? But, but on her, like, now that we mad, what would be the reason for you to come out and say? Who came back to tell me that you stood up in the middle of that dinner and was like, yeah, I've been dating John stuff. Liar, like I'm making up stuff. One thing, I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry because I kept my mouth. I'm not a liar. Okay, so, so I'm just what's gonna, the truth? I'm, the truth is, I messed with Jock since 2008. What? what? Like, you remember when you asked me like that? Oh, we didn't get up in 2008. Which club? Venue. OK. Don't say it. I'm just saying. OK. So what I'm not you, what trying do you think to you're hurt doing? you. And everybody is going around making it seem like my story is all messed up. It's two cents in. Hey. And I honestly didn't want to come in between y'all, because what am I doing talking about something? I made allegations, so I didn't 